Greetings everybody. Today I'm going to discuss Rotten Tomatoes is rotten to the core. Now we're going to look at Star Wars The Last Jedi on Rotten Tomatoes. It's one of the most controversial movies recently and Rotten Tomatoes should indicate that. However, it's showing that it's 47% liked and has an average user rating of 2.9 out of 5 stars. I'm going to prove that this is fabricated, that it's incorrect. And how am I going to do this? Well, I'm a computer engineer and it's trivial business to scrape web pages and to do simple maths. So let's get into this. Before we start looking at the, the, the code and the results, let's just have a little look at why Rotten Tomatoes is rotten. So here we've gone into the audience reviews. It shows us 2,187 pages available. And look at this, I'm on page 51. Now what do you think happens when I click this button? What do you expect to happen? Oh, we should go to page 52. Oh, no page 52? What happened, Rotten Tomatoes? You don't want us to see page 52. Well, look at the web URL. This, this shows us what page we're on. Let's go all the way and try 2187. What do you expect? Bam, nothing, no results. Why, Rotten Tomatoes? Why don't you show us all the audience reviews? Because you don't want us to. You don't want us to actually see all of the reviews. Because if we have all the reviews, then we can, without a shadow of a doubt, prove your ratings are incorrect. All we can go by is the latest 51 pages. This is why you're corrupt. This is why you're rotten. However, there's still enough data to show that your scores are incorrect without a shadow of a doubt. They're incorrect. How do we do this? Remember I said I'm a computer engineer? Well, I wrote a very trivial Java program that leverages the JSOUP uh, library. JSOUP is an HTML parser. So what do I do? Here's the main part of the program. Just thing, uh, strings to help us sort the URLs. The URL is this bar up here. And as you saw before, we're just flipping through the pages. So this bit of code, which is commented out because I don't want to re-download the pages every time. It just goes through and simply downloads all the pages that I have access to. So 51 pages. It downloads, downloads them to pages. I have more there because I didn't realize that it stopped at 51 until I was you know, downloading. So I tried to download all of them. It didn't happen. So we have 51 pages of data. And then here we go through and we parse it. So I um, wrote a program, parse body. There's the method of the class called Rotten Scraper. So we simply go through, parse through the pages, um, we check the results, and we update based on the number of stars. So if there's no stars, if they've said not interested, then there's zero stars. Half a star, one star, one and a half stars, and so forth. Very easy. Um, get a total number of the review reviewers and total number of stars. The parsing bit, where is that? That's here, count stars. So here we just go through and um, parse through the HTML looking for stars. It's so easy to do. Um, they have, if you know CSS at all, they have um, a class called glyphcon, glyphcon hyphen star, and that shows you a star. And if they want a half, they use 
Um, I think they have it at, at, at FRAC 12, but the package I use that pulls down the HTML, when it saves it to file, it saves it as a ampersand half semicolon. So here's where we count the stars. Pretty easy stuff. All right, so let's just run the program. Um, again, I'm not re-downloading stuff. So what does this show us? We have 51 pages. All the pages have results. If I were to do 1,800, then there would be a lot of pages that don't have results. There's a total of 1,114 reviews. This is the total number of stars received. So we calculate the average. So the average is based off of five stars, a maximum of five stars. So we can see this would be 25.8%, just multiplying that by 100. Let's pull up, let's pull up our friends over here at Rotten Tomatoes. Let's see what they did. So they're at 47%. I'm at 25.8%. So I'm at 25.8%. And the average number of stars were at 1.29, and they're at 2.9. So absolutely rotten. Here's additional information, number of zero stars, half stars, one. You can see. It's, it's a complete falsehood, what Rotten Tomatoes is doing here. They won't show us all of our reviews. It won't let you see the all of the reviews. So I can't if they if they let me see all the reviews, I could give you a very accurate result. All I can give you is the first fifty one pages, which happens to be a thousand users. So there's a lot more there. And th and that's how they're gonna say, ah, uh, uh, he doesn't have all, everything, so he can't prove it. Well, you're not showing me everything. You're not showing anyone. Why is that? Even if you log in as a user, you still can't get past 51. I tried. So why is that? Why is that, Rotten Tomatoes? Is it because you're rotten? You're paid off? That's why. Guaranteed, you're paid not to show the right score. Disney probably pays you handsomely. But just stop pretending. We live in an era of lies, and we are sick of it. This is a shit movie. It's terrible. People don't like it. 1.29 stars. People don't like this movie. And you're saying, oh, 47% liked it. No, you're wrong. <laughs> the percentage of users who have rated this movie 3.5 stars or higher. Bollocks. Bollocks. We know that's incorrect. By my numbers. All right. That's it for me. I think I've shown that Rotten Tomatoes is at least rotten to the core. They don't show us all the user reviews. They keep that hidden from you. And we know this score isn't right. We know it. That's all. Good day.